yes so here today's topic that uh, we are doing some questions which you are seeing on your screen related to percentage first of all that i have to explain you that uh, what is percentage so percentage just see on your screen percent percent means means per hundred okay yeah cent means hundred as usual you know that okay so percentage that means questions related to that is how much percent that you want to take so first one you can see here 50 percent off to 80 so here you can see that one question i am going to solve for you question 50 percent of 280 okay yes. what do you mean by 50 percent 50 percent can be written as 50 over 100 and off means multiply and 280 that you have to write as it is okay clearly you can yeah, yeah. see that yeah here one zero and one zero from numerator and denominator will be cancelled and with the help of other color i can also explain that the other zero and other zero that will cancel here so clearly you can see that only there is a 5 and 28 in numerator okay so you have to yeah. multiply that one okay 5 8 is a 40 0 carry 4 and 5 2 is a 10 and 4 14 oh yes so your answer will be 140 okay so yeah. your answer will be 140 of first one clear do you understand that yes that's great now uh wait, 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 wait. suppose that i am also going to explain you the last one here 30 percent of 238 okay so okay. just see again are you on your screen beta? and then you have to solve the remaining question and tell me your answer yeah so 30 percent of 238 so 30 percent that means 30 upon 100 of means multiply 238 that will be 238 as it is okay so here you can see that first of all that you are seeing one zero in numerator and one zero in denominator that will be cancelled okay now it will be your 3 times 238 divided by 10 okay so it is very easy to calculate so do Some... you divide every single of them by 10 no 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 firstly you have to multiply that uh, 238 by 3 and whatever will come then you have to divide that by 10 okay yeah so, so do we have to divide all of them by 10 yeah firstly you have to multiply that yes okay so it will be like 238 238 multiplied by 3 8 3 is a 24 4 carry 2 3 3 is a 9 2 11 1 carry 1 3 2 is a 6 1 7 okay 714 it will be so 714 divided by 10 so now you can understand very clearly so here as i told you in your previous calculations so that if there is a 1 0 in denominator so that means in your answer your decimal will be one digit before okay that means your answer will be 71.4 do you understand it yes great and other question one more question i'm explaining then i will refresh that so the new question will arrive on your screen so suppose that 75 percent of 460 i am solving okay Firstly, I am going to yeah. write the question. 70. Yeah, random I am choosing. 75% of 460. Okay. So, it will be, it <coughs> will be, bless you, it will be 75 upon 100. And of means multiplication. 460 that you have to copy as it is. Clear? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah now you can see that there is a one zero in denominator and also there is one zero here so they can reduce now remaining thing is there 
you can see that uh, here is wait a little bit partition I am doing here so that after this step next step I am writing here so 75 multiplied by 46 that will be numerator divided by 10 do you understand this step yeah now it's very easy to multiply 75 into 46 75 and 46 and multiply that 6 plus 30 is 0 carry 3 6 and 42 and 345 that's it cross 4 5 are 20 0 carry 2 4 7 are 28 and 2 30 okay now 0 5 4 and 3 okay so that means mm -hmm. now here the finally you will get in numerator that will be your that will be your uh, yeah 3 4 5 0 divided by 10 now you can see clearly that 1 0 and 1 0 will be cancelled and finally you will get your answer 345 do you understand clearly yes great your class is recording and after your class it will be uploaded on my channel okay because we are doing a new topic over here also you would be able to see some other topics related to percentage which i had uploaded with respect to other students okay yeah so do you understand all that which i am explaining to you yes great 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 so i'm going to refresh that beta so the new question that would like to come and in the same way that you have to solve that okay so should i have to refresh that yeah okay great now after refreshing the new questions that will arrive on your screen you can give my oh yes now it's a change now whatever you have to solve do you have pen and copy yes okay great so all these questions you have to solve so before that i want to uh, i want to um, miss request you one thing uh, do you remember that you told me that uh, one of your neighbor want to uh, join classes but before that she is not able to join you can give my channel's name to her so in that condition when she will subscribe then she will be able to see all the videos of your classes and other students classes yes no but right now she's in a country so probably not now oh ah, okay okay then no problem <laughs> then no problem you can give my channel's name to other of your friends beta because as usual you know that my main motto is to spread my knowledge of science mathematics english to all and I hope that in which way I used to explain each and everything to you. Do you able to understand all that? Yes. That's great. That's great. So please, it's my request that you can give my channel to your friend. You, you can give my channel name to your friends so that they will also be able to see that video. Now, come to the point, Vita. Here are the many questions that uh, you have yeah, to solve. Yeah, I, solved, I solved the first one. It's a... Uh, 1250 50% 50 of 250 you have to do that 50% of 250 don't be hurry we can do that relax and did we do 5 multiply by 25 plus no 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 yes because you can see that 1 0 and uh, in denominator there will be 2 0 because when you will write there 50 percent that is 50 divided by 100 multiplied by 250 so in denominator there are two zeros and oh, also 12.5 but why you are saying 12.5 wait a second hold on i am going to uh, no, because I did um, 25 multiplied by 5 and then I got... Uh, Beta, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Again, see on your screen. Again, see on your screen. No problem, no problem. Just see that. I was thinking that just again try to understand. Here is written 50% of 250, okay? Now, what do you mean by 50%? 50% that means it will be 50 upon 100, clear? Of means yeah, yeah. multiplication 
250 that you have to write as it is 250 okay now you have to uh, now you have to I uh, mean simplify you can see that one zero is here and one zero is here you can cancel okay but again you are seeing that there is also another zero is here and another zero is here now remaining thing that is your 5 times 25 hours and that will be equals to 125 okay yeah i got that and then i divided that with 10 yes okay so uh, do you think that any other question which you want to ask to me of this page then again i will reference that so the new question will again come no i understand do you understand clearly Yes. Or suppose that one question, okay, by myself I am explaining that. I'm going that to do that again, 125 divided by 10. No, but why you have to do 125 divided by 2? You can see that in denominator there is nothing. Oh. Oh yes, because 10 zero and 10 zero is cancelled and other zero is and other zero that is also cancelled. Okay, so there is only so one there. So that would be 125? So yeah, final answer is 125, yes. So you do either when you have a demo. Um, and beta, and beta, one more important thing. If you are not able to understand in this way, there is also another way. Just see on your screen. Thank God you asked that to me. Just see that. 50% copy your question up to 50, okay? And now it means that 50 divided by 100 multiplied by 250 okay if you are not able to understand in this way to solve then you can also do that in this way you can just write in this way 50 times 250 divided by 100 is that is i think that it is more convenient for you and then firstly multiply 50 times 250 so you can see that i'm going to multiply here just see on this side 50 times 250 so 250 is here 50 will be here okay i think that uh, when you was in uh, third or fourth grade then also your teacher had told you that uh, here you are seeing that there is a 1010 so you can place 20 arbitrary over there and now simply 25 and 5 you can multiply directly so it will be 125 so finally you finally you will get your answer 125 12500 okay and then divided by 100 clear now you can do you understand this one yes now you can see that in your numerator there is a two zero in your denominator there is also two zero they will cancel and there is a remaining only 125 that's your answer clear yes great also for your convenience, I am explaining another question. Like suppose that a little bit, it is it is a multiple of ten, so that uh, it is much easy so for. So the first one I gave you my answer. I gave it one seventy hundred and fifty. I was right because what I did, I um, multiplied it, but I didn't divide it. Yes, but you have to be very careful that. But suppose that the last question you can see that here is a not or miss a question in which one that uh, numbers that are given here are multiple of 10 or any other so you can see that 30 percent of 209 copy your question firstly okay so i can uh, i can solve over here so 30 percent of 209 suppose that you copied your question 30 percent that means it will be 30 divided by 100 or not yeah half means multiply and then 209 that you have to copy as it is clear now you yeah. can see that uh, in which way that uh, is convenient for you to understand that either first way or either second way it is first second. method it is your second method okay so in second method you have to do one thing 30 multiplied by 209 so just do that quickly uh, 209 is here 30 is also here 0 9 is a 0 0 0 is a 0 0 2 is a 0 3 9 is a uh, 27 so 27 that will be here and 3 to the 6 and you'll get here 0 7 2 6 okay yeah so now you will get here like uh, 6 2 7 0 divided by 100 okay 
So now you can see that one one thing that you have to remember that firstly you are seeing that in your numerator there is a one zero. So you can cancel one zero to one zero in denominator. Okay. Now here you'll get that six twenty seven divided by ten. Now as I explained that you in your decimal section that here you are seeing that one zero in denominator or not? No. You are seeing one zero here, six twenty seven divided by ten. Mm, I think yes. No, please, I, I I think you are able to see on your screen clearly. Harsh, are you able to see on your screen? Harsh, harsh, harsh. So here you can see that 627 divided by 10. So 627 that you have to write as it is, and then you have to place decimal on one digit before it is your perfect answer. Do you understand that? That's great.